Welcome everyone. I'm Meg Brenner, your industry partner advisor for comms, media, and tech industries, CMT, alliances and channels here at Salesforce. And I'm just thrilled to share with you a recent chat I had with Christopher Dean, or CD for short, who's GM and VP of our comms and media clouds for CMT. Stay tuned as we walk through some of the transformative trends and imperatives across the comms and media industries that are rocking our worlds, both as consumers and business leaders. CD gave us a look under the hood of what we've got revving up for comms and media this fiscal and just how and where partners can take action today using Salesforce as a guide. You'll be sure to walk away with a greater sense of where to prioritize your business and how we can partner together to continue driving innovation, results, and efficiencies. Stay tuned and enjoy. Hi, Meg. I'm, uh, thanks so much for having me here. Um, I am super excited uh, and uh, really, uh, there's there's really no path forward in my mind without a super super close alignment and relationship with our partners uh, across the systems integrator ecosystem as well as the uh, ISV independent software vendor ecosystem. So this is extremely important, and and we love and and I love the chance to have this conversation. So at a really high level. Um, uh, I'm, I'm responsible now for both media and communications. So when we think about both of those, those two different industries are kind of at the intersection of some of the fastest growing, biggest trends and changes that are occurring. When we think just about media at a super high level, we think first and foremost about customer centricity and how being customer first can power integrated business models. We always think about the ever evolving advertising ecosystem, the domination of some walled gardens, the deprecation of cookies, the growth of digital. We think about the need to automate uh, and drive intelligence into all forms of media operations. And then the power of community. How do we support our end users and our consumers? How do we support our advertising ecosystems, our content creators? And then finally, this really big one that we've all been hearing about, the emergence of the metaverse. And so, um, and that is really beginning to take over all of gaming. It's it's this concept, perhaps a little overhyped today, but certainly uh, a way that many businesses want to now interact with uh, with their consumers. So those are some of the big ones that are going on in media. And if we go over to some of the ones going on in communications, um, we see uh, a number of really, really large trends. So overall, the, the need to monetize 5G and the growth of 5G for communications providers. And then we see a lot of action and opportunity in fiber. And so there are, uh, there are subsidies in the market and we see lots of small fiber providers in second and third tier and even first tier markets laying fiber and, uh, and really we have the opportunities to support them. Platforms and hyperscalers. So actually thinking about utilizing uh, communications networks uh, for third parties to go and build and extend the capability of connected uh, environments like IoT. Truly the need to do call deflection and to provide digital self-service. We see a lot of uh, customers, in particular on the B2B side, being very interested in actually being able to provision, buy and provision and manage uh, their, their relationships themselves. And then the same thing, similar to media automation and simplification uh, is uh, across the board, uh, one of the top trends and one of the top desires for CIOs and spend categories in these highly complicated environments. And then finally, net zero. So how do we help our customers get to be net zero and, and offset their carbon emissions and provide them with these solutions uh, to meet their compliance requirements? So those would be some of the, the core uh, core trends we're seeing across both media and communications. Fantastic, absolutely. And and it seems like when it, you know comes to media and gaming, it seems like you're a Star Wars fan. If I if I don't have that right, <laughs> I, I love Star Wars. So I am definitely a science fiction buff and uh, consume all forms of science fiction. So I love Star Wars. It's a great place to be. So thank you for, for that overview. Can you share with us, you know, what, what Salesforce is, um, you know, what's coming down the pike for comms and media this fiscal? Um, you know, you just shared, you know, some really, really huge themes. Um, but, you know, what are some big bets that that you and your teams are, are doubling down on? Are there any surprises that you can allude to for us to look forward to on the roadmap ahead? 
but really what should partners be thinking about this fiscal and and what should they be acting on and how how can we help so the transformation that we're going through is a global alignment uh into uh a new cro organization led by denise dresser uh where we uh, have brought communications media and technology together into a single organization um, and are selling that globally and what we are looking at is our core focus uh, from our industry's product teams are around building industry solutions and these industry solutions from salesforce are true c360 cross cloud solutions and just on the page if you look at this for example here are some of the media solutions some of these are available today some of them are coming uh, later in the quarter and they are aligned to um, those trends that we were talking about and the imperatives the problems that uh, our customers are facing across the board so um, uh, accelerating advertising sales and supporting uh, and providing the tools to the ever-changing advertising ecosystem providing tools around growing subscriber relationships to help maintain and uh, and support the growth of the subscription business model being able to streamline any of the manual processes that exist in the media and entertainment market and then maximizing audience engagement how do i attract segment build unified user ids and profiles um, and keep uh keep uh your users engaged those are some of the top level ones within media and entertainment we're working on a, a collection of others and in each instance i'd ask the partners to come to us and because these are big umbrella solutions and we're stronger in certain areas and weaker in others so that's the type of partnership that we want to have with uh, our partner ecosystem and we would love to see systems integrators come in and help us extend these with accelerators we'd love to be partnering and plan to be partnering with isvs to extend these further so that's on the media side and if i go over and look at the communication side similar to that is a suite of these end-to-end -end industry solutions these include the communication cloud products and and the media cloud products in the prior example but they are true cross cloud c360 solutions so how do we help accelerate communication sales that's principally a b2b story um, how do we monetize 5G faster for our operators? That's both a B2C and a B2B and a B2O uh, story. How do you unify the customer journey, support the lighting up of fiber experiences, support that digital first customer support uh, capability? So in each instance, these are solutions that we're working on. They're either available today or they're coming. And we absolutely need partners to lean in to help us go deploy these solutions and then lean in and help us go build accelerators to, uh, to um, you know, uh, extend these solutions and have ISVs come in and be parts of these solutions. It all makes sense. Lots of work to do, but there's no better team for it. So I'm glad you mentioned subscribers because subscribers are at the heart, the core priority across comms, media and tech as well. And we're all you and I both and, and all of us here are super subscriber super subscribers today, meaning it's really more challenging to meet and keep our attention as consumers than ever before. Um, but this isn't news to any of us on, on either side of the screen. But what's next in the consumer journey and how can partners leverage comms and media industry clouds to continue to drive innovation and results driven solutions? That's great. So. Um... I'd call out that we have a couple different accredited professional um, courses that are coming out. And I think it's critical for us and our partners to uh, get uh, certified and invest in these clouds and to know what's going on. And I would say the single largest blocker that we have is um, the ability to apply uh, more certified and trained professionals into our customers to deploy these solutions. And that's at the core of what our partners can uh, help us deliver. And we're there to support them and, and, and ultimately do that. So, um, and, and that really expands beyond just like the traditional CRM solutions well into a number of these uh, middle office BSS 
and uh, and and monetization solutions that we've been uh, that we've been talking about. I'm really looking forward to the forthcoming comms and media AP exams. I think those. Um, so what we know is those are going to launch in the the quarters ahead. So that's something for partners to look forward to. But we know that in the interim now, there's a lot of really great prerequisite uh, certification and credentials that partners can take advantage of in preparation for those exams. Um, so we encourage partners to reach out to uh, account teams, work with me as well as your industry partner advisor to help support that journey. So CD, you've spent decades developing and launching products that help customers create new distribution channels and grow revenue, right? And now today, you're leading our Salesforce comms and media clouds industries business. Now, we know Salesforce industries realigned this year, bringing comms, media, and technology together as one operating unit. Can you give some visibility into this alignment and how partners spanning these sectors can work together and learn from each other, but also how partners can align with the industries themselves to prepare and to maximize on, on all these solutions? Well, absolutely. I would say first and foremost, uh, work with your uh, with your uh, partners and uh, your partner support staff within Salesforce, like Meg and like everybody else, and then reach out to us and let's make sure that we have a chance to uh, present these solutions and lean into you and and work together. And and I'd also call out we, we spend so much time talking about product and solutions. And we forget that uh, we have to adjust processes and we have to uh, go through change management and manage people as well. So we think about it, product, people and process. And so we can we can really work together on that and, ha and have to lean into our partners to think about that change management and think about those process changes uh, all anchored on top of uh, these solutions that we're that we're talking about. So moving on. Acronyms, acronyms everywhere. Sometimes it feels like we're we're living and, and working in an alphabet soup, right? But the the biggest acronym on on set today is NFT. So NFTs, they're still you know it's so conceptual for so many, but it's it's really as real as it gets with being valued at a forty one billion dollar market. So where do NFTs fit into the comms and media ecos, and what does it mean for how comms and media practitioners? need to be thinking about their businesses. How will Salesforce be able to support this all? Great question. And uh, NFTs fall way into the hype cycle as well, but um, they're absolutely exploding with regards to the sale of NFTs and the value of NS NFTs. And um, the simplest thing we've all heard about is an NFT is minted and it's attached to a piece of digital art or, um, or Eileen Gu wins the slope style skiing gold medal at the Olympics and someone mints an NFT. But the really interesting thing about this as well is the utility that comes along with it. It's a new tool that media and entertainment and retail and consumer goods and any number of different companies are planning on using to engage with you and me, a consumer. So once I buy an NFT, it comes with a great deal of utility. So take the Eileen Gu example. Um, when Eileen Gu is on a press tour after the Olympics and she comes to San Francisco and I own the NFT, I'm invited to that press conference. When Eileen Gu drops uh, 500 limited edition Prada snowboards, I have an opportunity to buy that. So NFTs are, 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 are really a very large new concept of uh, the, uh, that allows brands in media and entertainment and a variety of others to interact with their uh, consumers and their and their customers and and how Salesforce uh, can can help with that is we're going to help our customers uh, um, provide and mint and deliver NFTs and deliver that infrastructure uh, so that it doesn't have to be as complicated for a brand or a retailer or a consumer good to produce that. Thank you for breaking all of that down. It's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's complicated, but you just you made, it, made it sound a lot easier. I recently read about a, a Dolce & Gabbana crown that was uh, valued or sold at uh, 300,000. So it's, um, it, it's a wild world and, and happy that we can help make sense of it for, for our partners and help lead the way. So CD, I'm, I'm saving the best for the end. Um, I'm really curious, 
which Salesforce value do you most strongly align with? And how do you practice it every day with what you're doing at Salesforce and at home? That's a that's a great question and one that's near and dear to my heart. So um, I, I would call out sustainability um, as uh, the single, all of the values are important to me, but sustainability uh, really is is first and foremost. And, and it is because I watch what's going on on our planet and I watch climate change. And in terms of an existential crisis to humanity living on the planet, there's nothing that's more important in my mind. So what, what we try to do in my house is um, we have uh, solar panels and we have battery backups and we try to uh, produce, we produce over 100% of our electrical energy here. Um, we also grow a ton of vegetables and um, so all organically, uh, all ethically sourced. And I know where they're from because I grew them myself. <laughs> and uh, and then I think the final thing we're trying to do is um, we're just going to cycle out over a period of time as our cars come to the end of their lives into electric vehicles as well. So um, we're, we're trying to do our, our bit there and, 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 I, and I'm trying to push that. And, and when we think about uh, net zero cloud and some of the other capabilities that Salesforce is rolling out, we have the opportunity also to bring those solutions to the communications and the media and the technology industries to help uh, our, the, our customers go net zero. That's awesome. That's just really great. I'm in the market myself for an electric car or, or hybrid. Uh, need to make a decision, but that's really wonderful to hear all of all of the ways that you're practicing sustainability every day, uh, both in in and out of uh, out of the home. My personal value uh, that I align most with is trust. Um, you know, without trust, that trust is what all great relationships are 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 based on. It's the foundation of all solid relationships and partnerships uh, with our partners and customers, with each other, um, and and with the world. So as we're wrapping up here today, CD, thank you for all of this really great content and direction. What do you want the key takeaways from our time together today be? So um, we, we, we covered a lot, but I'd go back to um, a few of the primary solutions that I want everybody to be thinking about. So thinking about accelerating advertising sales and media and growing subscriber relationships, as well as streamlining media processes. All of these are important solutions, but I'd say those are the most important. When I when I come back to communications, also that you know some of the top three: accelerating communications sales, monetizing 5G faster, unifying that customer journey, uh, and then automation as well are all super important. And don't forget about the accredited professional exams we have coming up. And let's go do some joint account planning and get in front of customers and let's go figure out how to do accelerators together and let's go deliver some value and and and, and really bring these solutions uh, to life. A lot to look forward to and a lot to get done together. We're all better together. Well, thank you again so much, TD, for all of the great thoughts today. You're so welcome, Meg. Thank you so much. Thanks.